numbers are startling, but not all that surprising. All these students have their own reasons for dropping out, but what really matters is what are we doing to help them get back into school. As it so happens, here in the Wildlife Prairie State Park in Peoria, we have the Peoria Regional High School. A few months back, I got the opportunity to interview these students, and it was an amazing experience. But before Peoria Regional High School can help these students, they have to address the specific reasons why they dropped out in the first place. So, what were those reasons? Why exactly did you come here? Um, I got into some trouble in school, um, and in turn got expelled, and so I came to school here as an option. Pretty much, I didn't like the environment, not so much with the teachers, but with the students, just the, like the social, living up to a social norm thing, and it, it just, it wasn't with, like, for me and everything. I felt like you couldn't be yourself because you'd be probably, like, made fun of for it or anything. It's just, I just didn't like that environment. Uh, mainly because I, I really didn't fit in there, and I, I didn't do so well in classes because they were a little bit more challenging, and so I just wanted something that was a little bit less stressful on me. And honestly, I didn't like the people there. It just, I didn't really fit in with them. Clicks, uh, sporty groups, you know, whatever you want to call it. Just didn't fit in with them. I always had a problem with school, period. Just like the people, the teachers and everything. So I just kind of wanted to get away from him. And plus, I was living on my own and I kind of wanted to do my own thing, make my own decisions and stuff like that, and there was a lot of drama. That's the main thing. This school is for the students who are just simply having a difficult time because of high anxiety, maybe some bullying, um, maybe some softer things, uh, not, maybe not softer in their mind, but uh, maybe some softer things. There's a lot of reasons. Um, some felt like they were bullied, some were bullied. Just walk in the door of the school, and for no apparent reason, certain kids t took a dislike to them and kind of made their lives miserable. Uh, we've got a few kids with some anxiety issues and some depression issues, and the big school environment was uh, a little too difficult for them to handle. When I first heard about Peoria Regional High School, I was really unsure about it as an alternative school. But then I met the students and faculty at a cafe on a cold Friday morning, and my opinions about it really changed. I found out what it really was, what it did, and how it was helping these students. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to what the students have to say about it. Um, I think I might have to stick with it. Just the learning style is totally different, but uh, along with that, you just have a whole different group of people that uh, are a lot more relaxed and not as, you know, drama-filled as normal high schools that you got to deal with. How cool everyone is, like, because everyone pretty much, uh, in the basis of it, came here, like, to get away from all those problems from their old schools, and, and, and we all know that, so, like, we don't really judge each other, like, out of, like, simple-minded things and everything, and we're just, it's like, almost like we're, like, a big family, too. Uh, just, uh, getting to know, like, new people, and going out to gym and walking the trails, and just, uh, learning new things here too. The students, I mean, they're all just get away from the regular school and stuff, so they're all, they're all good people and they're inviting and stuff. The teachers definitely, like, they really, like, you can tell that they care and they want you to succeed, they want you to go to college and everything, and, I mean, that's what really matters to me. Um, I really like how, um, gym classes, we just go on walks around the park and, uh, it's really like a family type bond between everybody here, between students and teachers. It's just really nice. I really enjoyed going here. What is the purpose of this school? The purpose of this school is to meet the needs of those students that we now have enrolled and others that we will enroll in the future who for one reason or the other have not been able to make it in their home school. This school uh, operates at a very low level of volume. We don't, we've don't. we never had a fight here. We don't have arguments. We are family. Mm -hmm. We have a chance of taking them here and helping them reach that goal of their diploma. 
so we have a wide variety of personalities and backgrounds and, and ages and ethnicities that really bring a lot to the table. The setting very much adds a calming spirit to the student's life. Mm -hmm. So that's one great thing about being on this campus is you get that calm, that nature that's right outside the door so they can, you know, take a deep breath and, you know, relax the troubled spirit or whatever. Everything about Peoria Regional High School is really tailored to helping these students not become a statistic, especially the teachers. When I first met them, they were outstanding and they seemed to fit with the students perfectly, even though they didn't have as much experience as a lot of other teachers. But still, I felt like they were able to get across what they needed to to these students when they were teaching. So what about these classes really make them special and are able to help the students at Peoria Regional High School? Different kind of system. It's not like, you know, worksheet, worksheet, test, worksheet, worksheet, test, quiz, worksheet, worksheet, test, quiz, you know, that kind of thing. It's, it's kind of like almost work at your own pace, but not quite. You know, like it's, you get uh, you learn your lesson, you do your worksheet every now and then, but it's not really like a testing kind of uh, learning. So you don't have to do as many tests, which doesn't stop your learning, because you still learn, it's just you aren't have to be testing on it. You get a worksheet, 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 so it's really nice. I don't think you can really explain that one. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like how we, it's, it's like how we are now, really. Like we can yeah. like we can conversate and like talk, but like you know, what I'm saying it's normally towards the, the topic of um, whatever it's being taught. Since it's so small, like everybody kind of gets a chance to say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at me, you. That's not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't feel pressured to not like raise your hand or anything. Like you don't feel like oh, I sound stupid or anything. Mm -hmm. so, it's, it's pretty comfortable, actually. It's really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, but I really, I can't stress enough how much I enjoy the flexibility of my curriculum. In most other high schools, uh, they often tell you what to teach or tell you how fast or how slow to teach it and exactly what you need to teach with the books. At this high school, um, I can decide what the kids need the most be based on their skill and their ability levels. So I can really uh, curtail and differentiate that and, and selectively choose things that are best for, for them and where they're at and the, the small class sizes help with that. Uh, for example, this semester my sophomores are reading a graphic novel, V for Vendetta, instead of reading something like Fahrenheit 451. They both fit the utopia dystopia curriculum, but it's something that maybe is more interesting to students who are less willing or less likely to read an entire novel with or without me in class. Um, in addition to the fact as a science teacher being out in a park like this and being able to use the, the surroundings, um, just the the small class sizes and the connection you have with students makes their learning better, makes it easier for you to connect with them and to interact with them, to help them understand things better. Um, instead of trying to present three or four different ways and hoping that some one of those ways catches everybody, you can really figure out, you know, I can spend three minutes talking to the student and explain to them in, a different, in one way, talk to another student, there's that, that sort of connection relationship that makes it really, really fun as a teacher. When I first met them, the teachers were outstanding. The classes were fantastic. So it begs the question, how did the teachers and faculty end up here? And what makes this place so special for them? I didn't really know what to expect when I first came here. They were talking a lot about uh, technology and how we want to integrate technology, which is one of my one of my strengths, um, is using things like smart boards and the computer lab and, and uh, designing our publications that are like the school newspaper. Um, so I just remember being very I was extremely interested and, and very excited about the position here, but I had I had absolutely no idea what to expect at first. And the interview was actually a lot of fun. I would say of all of the positions I've interviewed for, this was definitely the one I was most excited and energetic about. When I was looking for a job, I was looking I've looked at at um, a few different places. Um, in, at first, I was kind of hesitant to apply here. You know, the stigma from alternative school isn't just for, you know, people outside of school. It's teachers and students and everything as well. So I wasn't sure, and I kind of put on. But as I went into the interview, um, it went from like something like maybe I'm interested in it to it sounds like a really, really cool thing to do. A really great place um, to kind of start off. 
And I guess what I've always loved about being at this school and, and alternative settings is that the students are so, they're so interesting, colorful, gifted, and just have boundless potential that you see. And there's never a dull moment, and it's just, you know, you get these students who don't walk in the... Nar the, 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 the narrow path that a lot of people are in, that just lock step, you know, they're kind of like out here and out here and just with their ideas and their thinking. Because each, each one is unique and different and some of them, you know, you get to know right away because they're real open and things. Um, not only, you know, kind of their personality, they're more outgoing and whatnot, but um, even kind of their past and their history, there's some, they're willing to share that. Um, and some are more reluctant in, in sharing that information. Um, but I think that pretty quickly everyone gains some level of comfort with, maybe not me, but a teacher here. Um, I think the thing I enjoy the most about our students here and and is who they are as individuals. Um, I have a broad spectrum of types of students with us. Uh, that includes age. Um, you know, I have, I have anything from a 14-year-old. We have two 20-year-olds this semester who are completing um, their degree with us instead of going for the GED. I have students who have dropped out and come back after two years. I have we have a student this semester who dropped out last fall, uh, but has returned to us this fall. So he's a grade behind now, but his motivation has just skyrocketed now that he's had, he has had the opportunity to make that choice that he wants to stay in school. Um, and that's what many of our kids are like. They, some, some people might look at our kids and think, um, oh, this is an alternative school, and oh, these kids aren't that motivated, and oh, they're the dropouts. But the, the wonderful thing about our kids is that they made the choice that they want their diploma, that they want to be here instead of a GED program, that they really do want to stay in school.